seems like ages ago. So I'm ready. Ah, yeah, you, you, you prefer a bad well, mood? You, you prefer a bad mood? No, too. no, I prefer a good mood. But um, it can be frustrating speaking about players' fitness. Can we get an update on the players who have problems? There's, there's quite a few who have problems going into the international break. Start with Ross McCartan. Um, yeah, I will say the players who, who are back in training. So that's Dujon is back in training. Um, Kieran Dahl is back in training. Uh, Abdallah Sima is back in training and Ross McCausland is back in training. So the guys who are out is, is Ritfan, is Ryan Jack, is uh, Oscar of course, Cortes and Daniel. Ritfan is a new injury. What has he done whilst on international duty? Is it a long term or short term? Uh, it's not going to be a long, long term. We, we're going to see next week. There's a possibility he can be fit for next week, but it's still a doubt, so we will see next week to make uh, more evaluation about that. Of the players who are in training, are they all in this weekend, or the likes of Villa Sima, is he further down the line? No, they are in contention, but of course not to play 90 minutes. And then it's to make choices. Uh, if they can only play 15-20 minutes, you can of course not have uh, four or five players like that on the bench. So. Uh, we need to take that in account and to make the, the good choices around that. You are very much a one-game-at-a-time manager, but given the... I'm not the only one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> given the significance of next weekend, are you partly thinking about that game as you manage the minutes of those players? Yeah, but uh, it's not because it's against Celtic. It's always like that. So, of course, I'm focused on the next game and about getting a result, but it's always a longer term plan also with the players. I never risk players, uh, also not when we play uh, Dumbarton in the weekend, next weekend. So it's always longer term. I never uh, play with, uh, with the safety of my players. Of course you can have, like at the end of the season, a decisive game and that you make a gamble together with your medical staff and your player. That can happen during the season never. Abdallah made a big impact in the first half of the season, has been out for quite a while now, but how happy are you that he could play a, a big part in the running? No, it's important, but of course he, he's been a long time out, so you cannot uh, expect miracles from the start, but he has shown his quality, he has his power, his pace, he has the, the appetite for goals. And, and he came back in a good way in the training, so uh, that's positive. It's now uh, building rhythm again, uh, making him stronger again, and, uh, and then he's going to play an important part, I think, in, uh, in these last two months. We got the news today that from next season at Old Farm Matches there will be a, a round 5% allocation of away fans. Is that positive news as far as you Yeah, for me, yes, for sure. Uh, I think everybody loves football with with two sides of fans who, uh, who sing against each other or sing towards each other uh, and to have this atmosphere. So uh, nobody enjoyed the Covid period um, when there were no fans. That was really difficult, it was hard. For me it was also really strange to play in Celtic Park without s supporters of ourselves. So it was the first time for me. It's a strange experience. So I think everybody, every player, every manager wants uh, both sides in the stadium. And it's football is about it's entertainment and entertainment from uh, from two teams. So uh, it's a very positive thing for myself. You've managed and played at big derbies in your career. How did they differ from the game at Celtic Park, where you managed and there was no away fans? Uh, not that much because you're focused on your team and the game, but. You want to hear them, you want to feel them, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure the other managers want it also. So it's part of football, it's part of our lives, and you do it also for a big part, for fans and, and to see them happy and, 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 and to feel the respect and to have the synergy together. So I think it's an important thing uh, also for an atmosphere in a stadium to have two kinds of fans in a stadium. Simple as this, but there are still two games to go this season. Celtic Rangers games, or you 
disappointed that it wasn't managed for soccer problems here as well? No, I'm not disappointed because I know also making rules. Uh, you cannot switch things in one day. There's a lot of organization about things and about uh, uh, relocating people because you bring fans in and, and all those things. So uh, I'm not involved in that in the club. I have enough of jo other jobs to do. Um, but I understand that you cannot change this thing in, in one week. So it's a very positive thing from, from next season. There uh, becomes a more normal situation again. No, in that way not, if you put a question like that, because the squad was not together. So I had today the first time uh, all my players back, because uh, Cyril and Fabio played on, uh, on Tuesday evening, quite some minutes, they played the first game also, they had a lot of travelling to do, so they could not train on Thursday uh, to be fit for the game. So it was the first time today, so in that way it's yeah, it's a little bit, uh, it's always exciting because I always see our story together like a book and I talked about that in the past, about a book and every week uh, writing new new pages together. But it's important that they don't uh, forget pages that you wrote together before in the way we play football, in the way what they need to do together on the pitch. So it's a new test again because it's seems like months ago that we played together. That's my feeling. So I want to see uh, that they didn't forget anything tomorrow. That's a challenge. Is there a better respect from the Grammy for the fan question whether he will be actually well on an unlocking period to have a walk-in or how he's Yeah, it's, it's individual. Eh? So some guys had a lot of games. Uh, they had a lot of work done the last couple of months. They needed to not to do nothing anymore, but they need to find a, a better balance than the one they played every three days. So they're fresh again and others they had to train harder to, to come back after an injury. So in that way uh, we use the time in, in the best way. And a run-in like this, Philippe, how much does it play a part when you play ahead of Celtic on Saturday? Nothing. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> no, totally not interested in that. No, it's about us. It's about performing and focus on our performance. If we perform well, then the points follow. It's all about that. And uh, showing the right mentality, what they've shown last couple of months, uh, showing what we can do together uh, on and off the pitch. Also players coming in, giving the energy to the team. It's, it's a lot of things about us. It's only about us, and it will be about us until uh, half of me or end of me. That Benfica match is the first time your team obviously had scored in a game under you since you came in. Is that it a was it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that a testament to how much your team has been clicking going forward in front of you? Um, probably. Um, when I came in, I, I said also I want to see a team who is dominant. I want to see, see a team who who wants to create chances, who wants to score goals. So we've been playing like that for months. Um, I didn't realize it was the first time. So we had the chances against Benfica, but it's a good team. So that can happen in football. Uh, and I'm not worried about that, uh, because there are much better teams uh, in the world who don't score every game. So no, it's, it's, a, it's good proof of the intentions that the team has and the way they want to play also, and the way I want to see them play. I feel like there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of discussion amongst fans about being your set pieces, um, both attacking and defensive. Can I ask, are you comfortable with where they are just now, or is there room for improvement? There's certainly room for improvement. That's because, because of that, we are training on that every week and before every game. So, for sure, there's room of improvement in the delivery, in the runs, in the timing also. In the, uh, in the way of heading. So we're working on that hard, yeah. For the players that were away on international duties, so Desco, Spavio, Silva, did you track their performances? How did yeah, I want to know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I track everything, otherwise I, I cannot sleep. No, we know everything of them. So that's also one of the things we installed uh, the last time when it was international duty in November. 
that we have contact with the players every day, also about their trainings, what they are doing there. So that one moment, maybe you can intervene when it's not enough, for example, when players are not playing and you can have contact with the federations also to do something extra. Uh, of course, if they do too much, you don't have control on that. That's a pity. So that's something I need to let go. That's part of our lives as, as managers of clubs. And I think a lot of managers have problems with that sometimes. But uh, with a lot of federations, there's a really good contact. And, and it's important because it's important for us, but for them also. If the players perform here well and they develop well, it's better for the national teams also. No, because otherwise you guys would know. Yes, I'm, I'm totally confident about that, that there's a lot of love on both sides. So then there will be a, a solution or not. What kind of challenge are you expecting tomorrow from Hibs? That it's a, it's a good footballing team. It's a team who creates always a, a lot of chances, scores also a lot of goals, I think third most in the league. Um, and they're really hungry to beat us. I feel it every time more that we play against each other, that the hunger and the desire becomes bigger. That's my feeling around that. So we need to see a very good Rangers team and we need to feel a really good support from the fans to, to play a, a, a really strong game to win again. We were really calm, to be honest. Is that something that happened to warn the players not to get involved in, or is it something you want to work No, it's one of my principles and my players know. I don't want to see tackles like that. I don't want that they get involved and get emotional when they get tackled like that. And that they stay calm and that we stay with 11. And that they don't go in discussions with uh, opponents or with the referee or all those things, that they're just focused on football and on ourselves. Thanks guys, Daly. Thank you.